Hello, my name is Brian Kennedy. Hi, my name is Manolo Gonzalez Estai. This program provides you a citizen's guide to effective participation in the NEPA process. Manolo and I prepare studies to provide citizens and community leaders with information about the effects or impacts of various kinds of projects that involve the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA. Sometimes these projects will impact you directly. Maybe acquire your home for construction of a new highway, or disrupt your business for construction of a light rail station, or possibly affect the environment in ways that concern you. However, these projects may bring tremendous benefits to you and your community. Either way, your participation and involvement can be important and influential. B3 and B4 molders, both are going to acquire a lot of property acquisitions. Brian and I organize opportunities for people to participate in these projects because NEPA requires public outreach and citizen participation, and because effective public participation can generate better decisions, better projects, and better communities. The focus of this program is how you can be an effective and constructive participant in the NEPA process. By effective, we mean being able to get your point across and for your ideas to make a difference. By constructive, we're talking about making sure that your efforts are helpful and guide the decision-making process. The first step toward being effective is to learn as much as you can about NEPA and the project being considered. Here are two primary sites on the internet to learn more about NEPA on your own. The Council of Environmental Quality website provides access to a wider range of NEPA resources and references, including access to guidance by specific agencies like the EPA, as well as training opportunities. Another great website is NEPANET, where you will find a very helpful publication entitled A Citizen's Guide to the National Environmental Policy Act, Having Your Voice Heard. Here are some basic NEPA ideas to keep in mind. NEPA requires agencies to identify and invite the participation of interested groups and persons and consider their input. Agencies are required to determine if a project has significant environmental, social, or economic effects. NEPA requires disclosure of the environmental consequences of a proposed project and evaluation of other alternatives in addition. NEPA does not require the agency to always select the alternative that has the least environmental effects. Keep in mind that each project is different, so the way these NEPA ideas are applied will vary. The public can obtain information from government representatives at public meetings and through project publications such as newsletters, notices, and project websites. If you need more information, you can and should define the details you would like to see and make a request for that information. Public meetings are a common format for projects involving the NEPA process, and these meetings provide an excellent opportunity for you to participate. I've been involved in hundreds of public meetings over the years, and I know that your input can make a difference. There are many ways to participate in the NEPA process. You can write a letter, make a phone call, send an email, and when you participate, keep the following points in mind. It is in your interest to become involved as soon as the NEPA process begins, especially when the scope of the project and studies to be performed are discussed and clarified. This step in the NEPA process is referred to as the scoping process. Public comments that are provided after the scoping process typically address the findings of the studies about the project and project alternatives. Sometimes comments that are provided late are less likely to make a difference because certain decisions have already been made. Be brief and clear. Comments supported by logical reasons are far more influential than just opinions. Public input is important, but it does not provide an opportunity to vote on an issue or the project. Project decisions rely on an analysis of the facts and balance many objectives and public policy matters in addition to public input. For further information, consider reading The Art of Commenting, How to Influence Environmental Decision-Making with Effective Comments by Elizabeth Mullen. This, this is a proposed route. Is that basically following the, the train that's there? Yeah. Another important step is to ask the project leaders to define very specifically what they want from public input and where they think public input could be most valuable and influential. But remember, you can comment on any topic of your choice. One of the early opportunities to be an effective participant involves commenting on why the project is needed and why it is needed now, or maybe why it is not needed. Project team leaders refer to this topic as the purpose and need. 
Comments on the purpose and need can substantially change perceptions about the need for a project and or the characteristics and features of a project. If you comment on the purpose and need, focus on broad community objectives and or specific ideas and details that may or may not support the project. Another key area for public comments involves selecting the right set of alternatives to be evaluated. We also had a suggestion to look at subways. By alternatives, we mean different ways to build a project. Having choices of project alternatives provides decision makers with an understanding of the trade-offs and differences between them. One alternative might impact the environment differently than another. Your input on alternatives can be highly influential if you focus on the need for these trade-offs. Another key area for public comment involves potential environmental, social, and economic issues such as traffic congestion, noise and air pollution, business and neighborhood disruption, aesthetics or how the project appears to the community, impacts on water quality, losses of vegetation, or impacts on wildlife habitat. Public input on these issues should help the project leaders focus on the right details and community sensitivities. This is especially important because project team leaders might not know your community as well as you do. On the other hand, the environmental studies might provide information that gives you and other community members new information and or broader perspectives about the project and your community. The public has an opportunity to review and comment on draft and final NEPA documents and related background reports. If what is said in these documents or at public meetings is not clear to you, or if the information is not easy to find or seems incomplete, your comments should say so. So speak up, come to a meeting, comment online, write a letter, send an email, tell the project team what is missing, what you know and or what you want to know. And remember, the National Environmental Policy Act is an important process and your involvement can benefit you, your community, and the environment. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you at our next meeting.